All right, y'all. Welcome back to the channel, man. This is part two of the Drizzy versus Kendrick or the Drizzy versus 20. However, y'all want to frame it. We are reacting to all the songs that led up to this crazy point where we at right now, man. And I really just wanted to take it in for myself, have an honest reaction after the dust has somewhat settled, man. So our part two, we looking at like that. This is off the Metro Boomin' and Future album, man. And Kendrick Lamar decided to jump in here and add some sauce. And he had some things to get off his chest. So let's see uh, kind of how this one goes, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. I'll see y'all on the other side. Peace. All right, y'all, let's jump straight into this future Metro booming Kendrick Lamar like that, man. We gonna really see how Kendrick Lamar entered the chat in this, man, and what he had to say. Let's go. Gotta find my joint up on this bitch. I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. Two times. Get yeah. To the code, all these holes for the street. I put in her nose, it's gonna make a pussy leap. One thing that can't go unnoticed in this whole saga is you know, Future and Metro Boomin had to give the green light for this verse to get released. As soon as they did that, that is virtually teaming up with the ops, man. And once they gave that go ahead, they knew what they were gonna stem with this. It was just gonna be with how everybody else was gonna react to it, man. Let's go. Pussy niggas told ain't gon' wake up at they sleep You can't hear that switch, but you can't hear them niggas scream All my hoes do shrooms, nigga, all my hoes do coke 20 carat ring, I put my fingers down the throat If I lose a carrot, she might choke I know she gon' swallow, she'll go Free band, niggas bring them rats in Cap the shooters in the corner like the pack in She think cause she was out of bitch, she attract, yeah that's that shit that get you put up at the Okay, so so far in this track, it is what you expect from Future and Metro. This is just some fly gosh, man. They talking about they ice, man. They talking about they ladies. You know, he's still keeping the street. And Metro is bringing the flames with the beat, man. So everything is real calm so far, man. Let's go. In the model still the same. Fall like I won a championship game. You know these hoes hungry, they gon' fuck for a name. I put her on the game, she get fucked for a chain. Got your girl in this bitch, she trailing on the ditch. I got syrup in this bitch, turn up in this bitch. And we bout to urge in this bitch, you murked in this bitch. All these pointers on me, baby, you know it's game time. Bring a friend, bitch, we fuck them at the same time. I'm a different nigga, no, we not the same kind. You can have that look, bitch, you ain't mine. Young dope, dealer selling dope, bitch, you like that. One thing you gotta give these boys credit for is being able to make a anthem, man. I think that at the time that this song dropped, it definitely had the streets on a wave. And so, you know, to be able to add that bit of controversy into a hot song, man, that's what really usually takes it over the edge, man. Let's go. Kicking doors, kicking in doors, is you like that? Young throw niggas selling lows, is you like that? All 24, you won't go, is you like that? Niggas from the bottom really like that. Stepping in balances, if you like that. Pop another bottle, if you like that. These niggas talking out of their neck. Don't pull no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for a threat. Hey, hey, let's get it, bro. D.O.T. Okay, so Kendrick Lamar. You know, if you are a Kendrick Lamar fan, man, you know when he's coming in and hype with energy like that, man, he is definitely bringing his level of aggression, man. He said, okay, let's get it, bro. You know, and again, those are words that are really stemming, I think, that really started to brew the pot on this whole saga, man. Let's go. The money, power, respect. The last one is better. Say yes, a lot of goofies with a check. I mean, oh, I hope them sentiments symbolic. Oh, my temperament bipolar, I choose violence. Okay, let's get it up. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. Niggas clicking up, but pay not be legit, no 40 water. Like, when he's saying that people are clicking up, man, I think that that is definitely, you know, directed towards Drake and J. Cole. That is obvious, but, you know, that's a direct shot at both of them, all right? Not just one of them. Let's go. Aww. 
yeah, huh, yeah, get up with me, fuck sneak this and first person shooter, I hope they came with three switches, I crash out like fuck rap, this Melly Mel if I had to, got two T's. Right away, when he is referring to first person shooter is where he's turning it up in the track, he is re referring to the first video that reacted to first person shooter where J. Cole was basically saying the podium of the three of them are uh, irrelevant but Kendrick Lamar is basically saying that there is only one and as a true hip hop historian people would think that that is the way to think so let's go with me I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos it's up lost too many soldiers not to play it safe if he walk around with that stick it ain't Andre DK think I won't drop the location I still got PTSD motherfuck the big three nigga it's just big me nigga bum I'm really like that hey. And when he's talking about dropping the location or referring to sending his address, I think that is very current. I think in the greater scheme of things, when Kendrick Lamar started coming on it, people weren't expecting him to be as current as he is actually being in this actual first record, man. Let's go. The best work is a light pack, nigga. Prince outlived Mike Jack, nigga. Boom! For all your dogs getting buried, that's a K with all these nines. He gonna see Pet Cemetery, nigga. So right there, he's just going straight at Drizzy. You know, and that or that really sparked it. I think at that point when Kendrick Lamar released this verse, I think he was already preparing himself for a rap battle. And you know, I think that is the instant gear up for it. You can't take anything lightly when people start to take shots directly at you referring yourself to your one away from Mike and then for all the dogs getting buried, you know, so we gonna have to really see kinda how J. Cole and Jake are gonna react to this in series is to come and let's go You know, one thing that I think that really helped Kendrick in this circumstance with this record, it's very current, more current than first person shooter mode. First person shooter mode had its moment and it kind of uh, trickled off as time went on and this song was very relevant. And so, you know, it again, it was performing in your own timing and not necessarily on the timing that people want you to, man, let's go. Selling dope, is you like that? Kicking those, kicking in those, is you like that? Young throw, nigga selling lows, is you like that? All 24, you won't go, is you like that? Niggas from the bottom really like that. Stepping in balances, if you like that. Pop another bottle, if you like that. Came with banging dope, niggas was John slanging powder. Walking a strip club, make it rain for three hours. I really like how they had to bring Future back in on this one, man. They let the beat ride out, man. This really does make Metro Boomin a feature on this with the way that his instruments played a part in this song, man. Let's go. My fellow and my driver perked out to chances in my hood like Nevada. Surfed out outside white interior lasagna. Okay, okay, okay. That was that like that, man. This is part two of the series. We seen how Kendrick Lamar came in on it, man. He was taking direct shots at both J. Cole and Drake, man. And he was definitely addressing how they reacted in first person shooter mode. Now, at this point, I don't think that an artist had had a direct single song beef. There was just still a lot of subliminal messages going at it. So it really was going to see how J. Cole and Drake reacted. So the next part in this is part three. This is going to be the J. Cole seven minute drill where he had something to get off of his chest. Mind you, he was just about to release an album. It was a great time for J. Cole to really come at it. So let's see how he reacts, man. So y'all stick around for part three and I'll see y'all on the other side. Peace.